Welcome to Donut Donny's Retro Channel. Today we are looking at another retro classic. Hello, Donut Donny here. Welcome to another football management retro game where we look back at games of the 80s and 90s on the ZX Spectrum, 48K, and various versions of the Spectrum computer and today we're looking at probably one of the earliest Super League named games. We've got quite a few Super League uh, names games in this series so far uh, but this is definitely one of the earliest. This is 1983 done by Cross Software. Now I'm a bit of a football fanatic I suppose you can call myself and uh, I noticed already on this screenshot something is, is wrong like these player names these are man united player names but these are the 2000s so someone must have edited this screen to put 2000 player names in or you could put your own player names in obviously uh like rain rooney ronaldo van nistelrooy this was definitely not 1983 man united player names but anyway that's not the point uh this is 1983 cross software uk where people made this this was six pound fifty which in 1983 was quite expensive um and there is a review, so we will just find a review for you. If I'm just going to get out of these screens. There we go. So uh, Sinclair User Magazine 1983. Uh, Super League is for the 48k Spectrum. Different from other player play and get to the top league games. Start you decide a skill level. That is based as ever on the league position. But in case of Super League, you have either for to finish in the top six in top half or avoid relegation unfortunately the game is limited as there is only one division which to play if you're relegated you join the losers and the game finishes uh -huh. um everything is is entered as numbers and the computer then plays the game for you that, that is followed by a 30 second wait for results which deter the strongest of us from football for life yeah It'll put most people off waiting 30 seconds for the results to appear, but of course in this we will speed up if it does slow down. It's obvious that the major criticism of the game is that you're given sufficient, you're not given sufficient involvement during play. Although Super League will become tedious for hunters' faction, there are sufficient aspects in it to hold the attention of fanatic. It's pity that most of the game is played by computer, but if you prefer a plot strategy quietly and slowly, Super League's view. Okay, let's go straight into it then. So kind of mixed results but again this is 1983 uh well 1985 actually he's got on here um so this is still in the early days of the football management games but uh as it's not re uh, really the first time i really heard about it um i guess it's one of those games that uh, people might not have heard about so we'll go straight into it Welcome to the Spirit Startless New League. In a moment, you'll be able to select the 20 teams to play in the league, and you'll also choose your team and how they line up. Please enter what sort of season you would like to have. The harder the number, the harder, the higher the number, the harder the season. Um, the higher the number, the number, the harder the season. Try for league champions then, because it's a low number. That's good skill level. Before watching any game, you'll be asked to enter the skill levels of individual players up to a maximum depending on what sort of season you have chosen. Dribbling skill, strength of kick means that they, as what they say, and supporting energy is how much player will help in defence or support attack. Okay, interesting. Your team will play for a le left to right and due to colour clash, you'll play in blue against the white team. Okay, that's good to notice. A lot of details here. Um, so it's 30 seconds to be calculated, so please be patient. You know, we not be able to save the season to a date on tape unless at least four matches have been played. Your rating as a statistician will be calculated from your team's league position and how hard the season you have decided to have. You will earn the maximum rating if you choose the most difficult season and you'll finish champions. You'll score the lowest rating, that be me, if you choose the easiest season and you'll finish bottom. See instructions again? No. Yeah, list of current teams. Change any team names. Well, obviously, we're going to change a team name. Ah, because Oxford City, it's not called Oxford City. They were called Oxford United. Hmm. Oops. I have to remember this is a Spectrum keyboard. Oops. And... U. Actually, I can put UTD in it. There we go. Change any team names. No. Enter the team you wish to follow. So far, so good in this game. 15 then. Before fielding the team, please note that this is how they will line up. So, one, okay, one to five in defence. It's a 4-3-3 formation. The team is Oxford United. 
and to name oh, I've got to name all these players names so let's think if I let's see if I can think of some classic and just use this keyboard first Alan Judge and go defender Gary Briggs now a lot of you are not Oxford supporters I know so you're probably thinking who on earth are these player names <laughs> Shotton, Malcolm Shotton, captain and was going to be Oxford United manager as well. Midfield, um, number six, midfielder. Got to think of a good name. Uh, Buchamp, I suppose. Buchamp had never played in number six, though. Uh, Charles, Jeremy Charles. Houghton, Ray Houghton, who then went off to play for Liverpool. Kevin Block, local kid. Number nine, John Aldridge. Still record goal scorer for Oxford, who then went on to Liverpool. Uh, Billy Hamilton, Northern Ireland international. Joey Buchamp, 90s hero. Sadly, passed away a few years ago. So, any lone players' names, that'll do. So, this is how they team. Ah, this is why that guy can put that Man United team in. Okay, so far, so good. There's the team name, so you can get 11 players. Change any players? No, because we've just done it. P to change player names, S to change player skill, league for table. So do you get 11 players? So you all start on fives. Uh, any changes? No, it's strange they all start on fives. Um, our record to date, C to continue. L for league table. You can't really want to see a league table before games played, can you? <laughs> That's a nice touch. Continue. Match number one then. And we're playing Luton away. But as you can see, um, press W to watch the game or result only. Okay, let's watch the game. Any changes? Nope. Okay, do we press continue? I suppose we do. Okay, so there's a lot of variation in screens, which I like. And here's the game. Okay, bit of sound. This is normal speed. Seems Oxford's the only players that are actually moving at the moment. <laughs> Luton seems to be, uh, oh, look, nah. no, Luton are moving a bit. Pretty basic. But it's kind of funny watching this. They're trying their best, at least. And there's a little bit of sound here. Aldridge on the ball. It's kind of like uh, taking turns football. There's Georgia shooting that goal. Saved. Oh, looting on the attack now. It's just a little bit of sound on here. Now, the animation is not amazing. This is 1985, though, you have to remember. I thought it was 1983. But it looks like... No, I think uh, that website got it wrong, though. I think it did come out in 1985. If the game says it's 1985, then you have to go with that. This animation is kind of uh, decent, I suppose. At least there's variations here. But looting on the attack here. They're in white, we're in blue. We will speed the game up a little bit in a minute. Will Luton have a shot, I wonder? Notice there's no Luton player names, it's just random. Well, no players names at all, actually. They will shoot. Uh, goalie saved. Well... Just picked the ball and then he just kicked it out randomly. Oh no, he's, he's passed it to uh, Jeremy Charles there on the uh, real top of the screen. The ball is actually around here at the moment. There we go, down there now. So he, hopefully he's going to pass down here. There's my three attackers there. No, he's just running at the ball. <laughs> no looting players going towards him.
shot to... I'm trying to see if there's going to be a goal. Oh, there's a skull. Oh, that's a nice touch. Actually tells you the score it is, and it's, it's a screen itself. A little bit of animation, a little bit of sound. You can't really knock this game, because it's... There's nice variations here. Of course, this match screen is not the best, but it could be a lot worse. Let's speed up a little bit now. Oh no, gluten have scored. And we score again, view time again. This is a uh, second half, by the way. Second half, and they haven't swapped sides. So it's just one way all the time. And again. Oh, didn't take the lead. Oh. Oh, that should be a shot. No, golly, saved it. Oh, I have to say, this is end of game. I have to say this match screen is pretty decent. Oh, match is entertaining, I mean. So we're on top speed, so up, um, faster speed. So we're going to, well, team table's been calculated. This is how your team currently lining up. Okay, so there's a little screen here that lets you uh, keep your mind occupied until the uh, league table's calculated. Now, of course, this is extra speed. So you get 22 sides in this. That's good. So this game would go on for quite a long time if you wanted to. Of course, there is no um, transfer market or anything like this in this game, so uh, which is a shame. My league rating is 12.5. Um, so let's continue. We're playing to Man City at home. Now, this is not the Man City of 2024. This is the Man City of 1985. A bit different. Now, I can press R for result only if I want to. Let's just do that for this one. Um, let's put the speed back to normal and press R and we lost 3-2 Brock scoring two goals so we will speed this up again let's leave tables coming up any second now because of course we're getting rid of the 30 second wait So <laughs> we're not doing. It's not a good start for Oxford, but there we go. Let's see what our record is now. 2.5%. It's gone much lower. Continue then. Now let's see the skills. Change player skills. Can we change some skills? Dribbling, strength, supporting, strength of kit. Let's do that. Changes yes. Let's do Aldridge number nine. Change. I think we change E for strength of kick to seven. Oh, so we can alter it. Um, let's change number two. Supporting energy, let's do it to six. Now, I don't want any more changes. So, do we just keep it? Speed back to normal. One. It's not letting me go back to... I don't want to change any more. Uh, let's do seven again. And to number wish to change. I don't want uh maybe fifty three is flashing because we can't do it. Okay, let's go back to five. No, no, it's still not letting me. Number two then. Let's go to number two and change its E value to four. Yeah, 49. There we go. So you have to keep it at 50. That makes sense. So for Aldridge then, if I decrease his supporting energy down to three. And then yes, and then nine. 
increases sporting the strength of kick to seven. No, it's fifty-two. Ah, okay. You have to you have to balance out the D, S, and E to fifty only. So it means I can't do that for Aldridge. So Aldridge will have to stay at five. But any changes, I can increase someone else's energy because I've got three units left. Let's change Hamilton's energy by another three or two to seven. Yeah, that's that works. And then get Hamilton, let's get Aldridge's energy back up to four. Yeah, that's how you do it. Okay, that's interesting. Match number three then. Man United <laughs> doesn't get any easier. Let's watch it. There's the player numbers. No changes. Continue. Speed the game up a bit. Again, we're in blue. Three champions scored again. his new stats. So far so good then. No half time obviously in this game, just goes straight through 90 minutes, no extra time, no penalties. You wouldn't expect that in the game 1985 to be honest. Oh. I thought that was a goal then. It was a goal kick. Straight through and straight at the goalie. Cross in. No, nothing. Yeah, there's good variations in this match. Really. It's very simplified, but there's a lot of variations here, which I, which is good to see. We beat them 2-0. That's a surprise. Okay, so while the table's been calculated, doing another screen here. That's a good variation there. Your league position is 21st, highest is 17th, lowest is 21st. But that might change after this win. There we go, we're 13th now. Yeah. Uh, does that mean after winning, our rating's gone up? Yes, it has. Let's continue. We're on our way up. Uh, we'll watch this one home to Newcastle. Obviously, no players gets injured in this game. You only get 11 players, and that's it. There's no injuries in this game then. So it's very simplified. Uh, only 11 players, and that's it. Um, no transfers. No bookings, I don't think. This batch screen is quite good, though. Um, not by graphics, I mean by variations. Of course, this is speeded up. Yeah, I have to say, I'm quite surprised by this. It's actually it's better than I thought it would be. It's very simplified. Obviously, you only get 11 players, but um, and as as I said before, no transfers, no injuries, no bookings, like you expect in many other management games. But it has its own unique style unique way of doing it beat the one nil on the way up so we should be going up the table more there from 13th yeah we're on our way up we're eighth now much better okay we play one more 
I'll wait to Norwich this time. We'll watch the game. No changes to the side. Again, these variations, which is actually quite unique in uh, the games we've seen before. I've never seen a game where you can change the variations, the DSE valuations, up to a total of 50 points. So you can vary, for instance, you can make Briggs very good at dribbling, but hopeless at energy. And that energy then can be used for another player. Again, it has to go up to 50 points. So, for instance, uh, putting Sporting Energy 7 to Hamilton has actually made him to a pretty decent striker. Um, that's quite a unique way of looking at it, actually. And again, as I mentioned before, I haven't seen this in other games, so that must be a plus point, definitely. Um, this match screen, even though it's pretty simple to look at, um, very basic graphics, very, very basic graphics, um, it's quite unique. Um, I've seen variations in goals, variations in chances, and um, the saves and stuff. No penalties, obviously. Again, there's no bookings. Um, and when the goal is scored, it actually goes to a different screen telling you who scored the goal and at what minute. So um, you don't miss it. You don't miss when the goal is scored. Of course, it happens to the opponents as well as you. Um, but look at this. We're charging at the goal and another goalie save. Um, there you go. Norwich had a shot then, missed. There's no half time whistle. Uh, it's just one half. There we go. We just scored a goal. Um, of course, this is speeded up. Sound is used a bit in this game. So that must be uh, applauded. There you go. Hamilton again. 2 0 up. We're on a bit of a run now. Um, yeah, so overall, there's a good mixture of screens here. It's very basic in a lot of areas, but then it's quite unique in other areas, which I think is how is a good way of summarising the game. It's basic, but it's also unique. Um, and I don't think it's it's too bad actually. You can put any team names in, by the way. You can put any player names in for your side only. Um, and we're on the road to recovery day. We're up to fifth. Wow. And that's it. That is the game. Um, there's not much more to see other than that. So overall, it, it is a basic game. Um, it's quite expensive for 1985, actually, £6.50. Um, but it's also quite unique. Um, I've seen a lot worse than this anyway, and a few better. But yeah, it's worth looking into this game, um, especially seeing the match, the match screen. The match screen looks very basic, but it's actually quite, quite good to watch. But anyway, that's the end of this video. Let me know what you think about this. If you uh, always like to hear any comments, if you haven't subscribed, please do. Uh, more interesting games come this way, including a big hitter game, a game that um, a very famous game, uh, which didn't do so well though um, when it came out. So that's it for now. And uh, don't don't say goodbye. Bye bye. What are your thoughts about this game? Please let me know in the comments. Many thanks for watching this video, greatly appreciated. If you like this channel, please send me a like or subscribe.